Well, even if you can, I know you're a walk on here. Kind of tell me your story of, of how you how you came to Wyoming and how, how you know how you got here. All right. Well, I played soccer all throughout high school, and then my senior year, our kicker broke his leg, and so I stepped in. Thought it'd be fun to do, and I ended up just loving it every minute of it. Did you? Were you a punter and a and, and a kicker? I was. I only kicked field goals. I used to kick but never once once. I tried to pump once, and I ended up fumbling the ball. So oh, really? Wow. So how did that land? You know, lead you here to Wyoming to to walk on the football team? Well, I got a coach. He worked at one of the high schools, Rampart. His name is Bob Lucchese. And I started working with him and a friend, starting to learn how to punt, learn how to kick field goals better. Mm-hmm. And then I originally wanted to come here for their architectural engineering program because not very many schools had a better mm-hmm. decent range. And Wyoming is a pretty cheap school, so mm-hmm. I decided, hey, why not try to walk on to the D1 school? And I never thought it would be possible. Uh-huh. So what was it like? I know you were you were here in the spring, right, for spring ball. So what was that like going through that? I mean, having just kicked field goals in high school and stuff. What was what was spring football like for you? Nerves were through the roof. I can tell you that. And it was a blast. It was. I had missed being with the team. I I had always been on some sort of team, and I missed that in the fall. Uh-huh. And I was just I'm, I was so excited to get out there. So excited to show the team what I could offer. Right. So how did it kind of, I know, you know, Stewart has been here for a while and he's, you know, has been a pretty good kicker. When did you kind of realize that, you know, if you're probably going to get on the field, might be punting the ball, even though you'd really never done it before that much. When did you kind of start realizing that here? Well, in the spring, I, Tim left. Tim Gleason, the right. old punter, left. Mm-hmm. And right when I figured that out, I was like, Okay, the team needs me to step up into this position. Uh-huh. And I know Stu is our field goal guy. So I thought, if I'm going to take a step back from field goals and really work on my punting, mm-hmm. to try to make a difference on the team and hopefully earn a spot on the team. So how hard was it? I mean, you know, you've gotten off to a good start, but you've never really done it before. And someone say, kicking a football can't be that hard. I think there's probably a lot more that goes into that. But how hard was it for you to learn Learn the you know learn your your skill really. Uh, it, was, it was extremely hard. This, I played soccer my whole life, and mm-hmm. the mechanics are completely different. I had to pretty much start with a clean slate, wipe everything I'd ever learned that way, and just completely start start new. And uh-huh. it was it took me a good year and a half, two years to where I am now, and I still have plenty to learn. Wow! So your first game ever at Wyoming, you're in front of ninety thousand plus at Nebraska. And everything. I mean, you said your nerves were through the roof when you walked on here. What were your nerves like in, in Lincoln a couple weeks ago? They were surprisingly calm. I was nervous, but it was more nervous on third down when I was ready to go out there. But mm-hmm. as soon as I stepped on the field, I took a look around and said, this is what I've always wanted. Like, this is what I've worked so hard to get to. And mm-hmm. No different than practice. I mean, right. It was the exact same motions, and I practiced it hundreds and hundreds of times. So uh-huh. It wasn't. It was. A good, it was really fun. Now, the, you know, when we've seen you punting games, it's been mostly the rugby style. I know that's a lot of teams do it, but it's certainly not as conventional as you know the regular punting. How hard was that to get you to learn, or was maybe some of your soccer skills help you in some of that, or did they have anything to do with it at all? Soccer, I can tell you, helped a lot. It helped me be able to hit the ball right. Because it is a different leg swing and different ball drop, and it's not too much. It's not too hard to learn. And once you get a few reps in, you get the feel for it, and then you just continue to work, and it just mm-hmm. becomes automatic. Do you like that style as opposed to the conventional way to punt, or does it really matter to you? It's, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, it's fun to hit just a normal punt, but mm-hmm. I'll do whatever the team needs. Mm-hmm.